What's going on guys, Card Mechanic here, and today I'm going to be teaching you Twitter by Andre Jick. Let's do it. So just a quick rundown of the video. First, I'm going to start off by giving you a really quick tutorial on the moves I'm doing. Second, I'm going to break down each move. And third, I'm going to get behind the camera and show you from my perspective. So without any further ado, let's do it. So starting off with a quick overview, we start off with our middle finger on top of the deck like this. We start peeling back this card. Once the card has cleared this deck here, we also include our index finger. We put that right underneath, pull that clear off, start twirling. We also use our thumb for help. So thumb goes on the same side as the middle finger. Use it to help twirl. Now using our index finger with the hand that's gripping the deck, you peel off the top card like this. We peel off forward and curl that index finger underneath. So that card also curls underneath the deck, right? So we're like this one more time. We're here, we turn that over. Once this card reaches here, I bring this out like this. I put that underneath like this, drag it along, twirl that back right on top of the card that's sticking out. Let that display for a minute for the spectator. Not a minute, but like a second to two seconds. Grip the cards like this, flip them over, let this card that's face down drop, turn my right hand over with the hand that's gripping the card and just let that card fall down. Of course, not let it fall down like this, but let it fall down more of a smooth fashion like that. And that's a quick overview. Now, breaking it down piece by piece, again, we start off with our middle finger on top of the deck like this. We start peeling the card back. Okay, make sure that these cards are aligned like this. We are in a mechanics grip here. These cards are, these fingers are aligned straight and straight. So when you're peeling, the card doesn't go in, you know, random directions. Right, so you go back with your middle finger here. You take your index finger, put it underneath like this on the other opposite side of the middle finger. And then you can start bringing your thumb up. See my thumb here? You can take it off, bring the thumb up, start twirling. So currently the middle finger is on top. We twirl until we get that index finger on top. So we're here, we do the, we do the twirl. We come down like this. I like to slide it against the deck here and then I start bringing this card underneath. Right, so I, let me actually just walk through the entire thing that, will go, that goes on with this card. So we're here, we do this, we drag it underneath, and then we place it on top of the card that'll be there. Right, so that's what's gonna happen. So now while that's happening, the second part that the left hand, or the hand that's gripping the deck will be doing, is peeling this card forward. So currently in the mechanics grip here, your thumb is slightly on top of the deck, so you're gonna remove your thumb and also remove these fingers so none of the cards are holding onto the top of the deck. So you remove those and just pull that card forward out like this. Right, we're here, we let go of all the fingers and then we re-grip the deck back. This way we don't come out with multiple cards when we're pulling this card out. So boom, there we go, re-grip the entire deck and just keep twirling, pulling with this finger until this card is underneath. Now, one thing that you're probably gonna have to do is this card's not gonna go clean underneath without moving this middle finger here. So you're gonna extend out the middle finger, let that card twirl, and then put that middle finger back where it was. So there you get that card right there. Now, putting these two moves together, we pull out, we do the twirl, I also like to bring, bring it forward towards the spectator, then bring it back. And once this card starts going under here, we turn it like this. And as soon as I begin to turn the card like this, I bring this card out here. So this way we're like this, right? Let me show you from this view completely. So we're here, I do the twirl. I begin to get my grip here, do the twirl, bring it underneath and you see that I started flipping this card over. Put that here, we go here, and now we're gonna put this card on top of this card. So the way that's gonna happen is currently the index finger is on top, 
we're just gonna twirl it so that the middle finger goes on top and then we're just gonna place it down on top of this card. All right, so one more time. That's all there really is to it. Now the way I place it is when I'm doing this, my middle finger and ring finger actually square these cards together, um, you know, so they're aligned rather than me just pushing down my middle finger because in the beginning I just had the card fall right off. So I just uh, put these cards on like this and I let that display for about one to two seconds. Now after you're done displaying, you come here with these four fingers, put them on the bottom. You're gonna grab this out. So you grab it out, you turn this whole hand over and start dragging this along the deck. And when you start dragging this, you're gonna grab it with your thumb here. So now that card is on the deck and all you're left with is this card. So all you're going to do is move your thumb to go here. So your thumb is just gonna bring that card on top of the hand. So it's gonna go from this bottom part of the hand or like the palm side of the hand to on the other side of the hand. I actually don't know where it's called. So we're just gonna stick to the outside part of the hand. And you're just gonna release that card and let it glide to the top of the deck. Now, of course, the more, the more you practice that glide part, the easier it's gonna get. Because I know if I do it too slow, sometimes the glide messes up or like 60% of the time the glide messes up if I do it too slow. But if you get it going at a consistent speed, it'll definitely work out really well. So now let me get behind the camera and show you what's going on from my perspective. Okay, so now that we're here, we start off with the same thing. We grab with middle finger, index finger, go here, take my thumb, same side as the middle finger, display that to the spectator, bring that down and around while that's happening. The index finger holding the deck, we'll bring that out. This will glide underneath and then this will curl right on top, right? That's it, so one more time. Boom, 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 and boom. And as you can see, I ended with my middle finger and ring finger clipping these cards together to ensure that they stay there. Now, once that's done, you take these four fingers, bring that to the top, twirl that around, and let it go right on top of the deck. So that is the Twitter tutorial. Now just to address a couple of issues that I used to have was one when I was pulling this card out went over like this. If I do it too fast, then, well, that's not supposed to happen. Anyway, like I was saying, sometimes if I do this too fast or especially in the beginning, I used to have, you know, a couple of these cards fly out as well. So I'm doing this and this card is, you know, like flying out over there. So you just want to ensure that you get a good amount of practice doing this and at first it may seem very robotic, so it may seem like you're doing this and this and this. So it may seem like a two, three step process, but you wanna make it seem um, as smooth as possible. And of course that's just gonna come from practice. And the other thing that I had an issue with was performing the glide here. Now, of course, when I do it now, it seems a bit more cleaner than you know when I started. But when I started, I had, you know, I had the angle wrong on my hand. I didn't know when to release with my thumb, so the card sometimes just fell backwards. So the one thing I found is when you're doing the glide, you're bringing the card over, make sure that your hand is angled um, like about 45 degrees, right? And you know, the card is aligned with the deck. So getting here. And that position might be a little hard, especially coming off, you know, from doing all that. It may be hard to align it, but maybe just practice a little bit, you know, going very slow. This way you'll make sure that the card is aligned when you're dropping it. And then of course, make sure the angle is right. And now once those two things, the alignment and angle are good, make sure you bring the thumb up a bit past the index finger here. If you don't bring it past, then you know, the card is gonna fall back there and that's clearly an issue. So uh, over here, bring it past, make sure it's aligned, 45 degree angle, and then you can let it drop, right? That's all, that's all there is. So you can practice doing that. And of course, the more you do it, so as you can see, if I do it by itself, I'm not the best at it. 
but the more you do it, the cleaner it's gonna get for you, right? So those are pretty much all the tips I had, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, cardistry Twitter tutorial. So that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go check out my Patreon page to help support my channel because the support really means a lot to me. So I'll put the link to that in the description, and also in the description is a link to all my social media. So you can follow me on there for my pictures, videos, status updates, and all that kind of good stuff. So all that being said, I will see you in the next video. Welcome to the end screen. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe because subscribing is good. Thanks for watching.